most important thing to me in life has nothing to do with money or fame or anything like that. Having stuff, you know, stuff. One point in time I had a hot rod BMW Z3 and a gold Rolex and every time I'd hit the stop sign people would look over and they'd go, a drug dealer. <laughs> it was kind of funny looking at midlife crisis, hot rod BMW and gold Rolex, right? Um, the most important thing to me is uh, comprehending cosmic mechanics and I've been doing that much of my life actually. One thing I was able to discern early in life and I scored off the chart on some tests uh, for like non-linear thinking um, where you do relationships like cat is to dog as uh, you know water is to ice those sort of non-linear relationship sort of tests is that you have to have a primer and the most fundamental thing of cosmic mechanics and metaphysics is that there are two sides to the coin in 99.999% of the world. And this is undeniable. And you can't get there from here. By get there, I mean wisdom and comprehension of the true nature of things, i.e. natura naturans, mother nature. You know, mother nature is of course an incorrect term. But you can't get there from here. And here is two places in, you know, I don't take this personally as an insult, but the two places are atomism and religion. People don't have the primer to comprehend things. They're approaching it from one of two uh, prospects. They're approaching it from secularized metaphysics, which is religion by definition, or they're approaching it from the prospect of atomism. Now, it, we don't have a correct understanding of the term atheism, I'm absolutely, not only not an atheist, I absolutely can't stand atheists. <laughs> don't ever, you know, if you take that personally, you know, so what? At least I told the truth. I don't really care. Um, the original definition of uh, atheos is in Philippus 29d. And it's not a denial of God as we uh, understand it today. Well, atheists just deny God. No, that's not the original definition. The original definition was a denial of uh, theurgic principles, i.e. metaphysical subjective substrates, i.e. the noumena that underlies all phenomena. And the point is that you can't get there, i.e. wisdom or comprehension of the true nature of cosmic mechanics and of actual existence by either approaching it from the perspective of religion or from the perspective of atomism. Specifically, true atheism as its core is a specific term called metaphysical atheism which is not merely a denial of uh, God, but a denial of substrates, of ontological, non-phenomenal principles that underlie... In other words, how do you dumb that down so people understand what the hell is metaphysical atheism mean? Well, like I said, the original definition of atheism in Philippus 29d, and by the original Platonists and Pythagoreans, had nothing to do with the denial of God, it had to do with the denial of a substrate. From the perspective of metaphysical atheism, there's a sock puppet, but there's no hand inside of it. There's a, there's a, a marionette, but you know, there's nobody pulling on the strings. There's a, you know, there's a radio, and of course there's no signal inside the radio, but metaphysical atheism would actually deny the signal itself. It's uh, kind of like the person who would ignorantly step outside of their own house and peer inside the window and say, nobody lives here. So the point is that you can't get there from here means that you lack the primer because you approach things from your own occluded uh, point of view and belief which is either embroiled in one or two things like the rest of the world and by the rest of the world I mean basically 100% of it which is that uh, everything is uh, bumping particles and there's nothing underneath the carpet if you will you know there's just a carpet there's nothing underneath it you know, there's a puppet, but there's nothing, you know, there's no hand inside of it. There's a radio, but no signal. There's no signal inside the radio, but that certainly is not a denial of the signal, is it? Which is the perspective of metaphysical atheism. And the other perspective is, is that there's a prima causa, or a first cause, i.e. original sin. So, you lack the primer to comprehend things. Nature in and of itself, as far as what it is in itself and by itself, can never and will never be comprehended without a primer. And that primer is the opposite of both. 
uh, nihilism, i.e. atomism, i.e. metaphysical atheism, or atheism in general, the denotation of atheism is a denial of ontological substrates, or from the perspective of religion, i.e. beliefs, or doxa. And uh, none of these two uh, belief systems, and they are both belief systems, both of them, materialism and religion are both inherently, from the perspective of the Platonists, belief systems. You can't get there from here. And here being comprehension. And so you have to have a primer. And that primer is, you know, very, very simple and beautiful, but it cannot be approached with a, uh, a preconditional belief system that will disallow you from comprehending, you know, field mechanics magnetism, dielectricity, actually fundamentally how the world and the cosmos works in itself, by itself, of itself, which has no connection to either one of these antinomies, which are opposite and an impediment to actual comprehension. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a book or two. If you hate it, make sure you downvote it because I'm sure that I hate you. Oh, whatever. Bye.